welcome. <laughs> it's uh, my two year anniversary on HRT. Hooray. <laughs> um, yeah, two years today, which is awesome. Like still loving what I'm doing, still not regretting this one bit. Still absolutely happy with uh, who I am now and just yeah, just it's been really good. Um, yeah, just more and more the more and more lately, I've been kind of just growing into uh myself, I guess. Uh, just you know, slowly just adding more, expressing myself outward. Like when I'm going to work now, uh, just completely hundred percent at this point. So, because <laughs> when I started HRT, I was kind of like trying to feel it out see when i would start right because i don't know if it's for a lot of people but at least for me for sure when i started hrt i never like just like switched instantly it was like a very gradual very slow but very gradual process until i'm at where i am right now so even looking the last year it was still very i'd say pretty androgynous where i was at that point um it's also a really hard time around that first year because with the side effects of HRTs, there was a lot of weight gain. And yeah, I did gain quite a bit of weight uh, during that time. These days I'm starting to get back in shape into it, but yeah, that middle that middle year of trying to get through that was kind of ha- kind of hard uh, because like, obviously I try to take care of how I look a lot. And <laughs> when I'm not very happy with how I look, it's depressing and it kind of sucks. And yeah, but it's gotten way better. <laughs> so it's definitely gotten way better uh, right at this point. So here I am t- two years now. I, I tried to do my nails today. <laughs> it's the first time I did it. They're not quite used to them yet, but I like how I did it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so YouTube and me and what I'm doing right now. Um, things have been difficult. I won't lie. Uh, since taken off before and then coming back to where I am. I'm kind of in the middle or like even from the last time I posted a video like this, I'm just not sure what to do. Um, YouTube has become just this mystery of like, do I want to keep doing it? I'm asking myself that again. Like you've probably seen uh, the last video where I did talk about this and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. It wasn't retirement, but Lately, you've probably noticed that I tried to bring activity back into the gaming channel, this main channel at least, and then I split some things into my other channel. And then there was like a couple other channels, like a VOD channel and even like a Lethal Company channel. But I was sitting down with a friend the other day. We were just talking and he mentioned something about like uh, YouTube and when it becomes like when it becomes something I have to do in order to make, you know, get by like a living now, uh, do I even really want to do this anymore? I think that's what you were talking about. I can't remember how he phrased it, but essentially it's like, do I want to keep doing YouTube just to get by and force myself to literally do something that I'm not really enjoying at this point? Because that's kind of how I'm feeling with Genshin right now. Uh, I really, really hate the having to post every single day and kind of just be on the ball and react and all this kind of stuff to it. Like, I just want to play Genshin Impact just on my own and at my own pace and just how the way I want to. Um, And with Twitch, at least, I can do that because I just like playing the game and just, you know, hanging out with friends, with chat and just kind of doing my thing. Um, but then I really thought like, okay, I can try to do like a YouTube short each day and then, you know, try to like promote my Twitch that way just to let people know, Hey, I'm still streaming out there. Here's some things I do Genshin, Zenless, whatever. Right. But I remember one of the nights where I had to make a short for the next day. I just, I just said, no, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I just, (laughs) I just can't. Uh, it's just, it sucks because I feel like I need to make a video about the game, but at the same time, now I'm just like, no, now I'm making myself hate the game by trying to make content about it all the time. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with YouTube. I feel like I have some kind of opportunity here, but I don't know how to seize it. 
And then now all these like extra channels that I made are all over the place. And it's just like, man, <laughs> God. So actually what I did was I went back to like some of my older videos and kind of watched like, what I did back in the day. <laughs> a lot of them are privated on the main channel right now. So you can't really see anything. Uh, but they were like vlogs and I would just talk about like uh, makeup and how I did my makeup and the skirt tip video and, you know, just every once in a while there was a game, but mostly it was just like me talking about this stuff. And I do like talking about myself, right? Being a content creator, but I do like to share um, me. I like to share my experiences, my journey. And now having transitioned after coming a long way from all of that, I want to just share more about my experiences just going through this. Like, what's it like going to work? How do I deal with people at work? What happens when people you used to talk to never talk to you again? And what do you do when you go outside and talk like normally? Do I have to use my higher voice when I talk to other people now? Or, you know, just like, do I get fatigued and whatever, right? So, so, uh, I've made the decision. <laughs> I've made the decision that everything's coming back to the main channel. Everything. That thing, that thing, maybe Lethal Company can stay on its own. But everything's coming back here. Bots will be over there. Lethal Company will be over there. But everything's coming back here. Because this is me. And I think in order for me to do this, I'm going to quit Genshin videos. <laughs> Not quit the game, but just stop making Genshin videos. They're not working for me. I've tried for over a year now to see if it could work. Why do I keep trying? I need to do something else. And it's not fun for me anymore. I can play the game. I can stream it, whatever. I can do that. But trying to make content on it, I I give up. I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe this is great. I think this is a good thing for me, personally. Then I'm just going to go back and just posting whatever the heck I want and just, you know, make the channel myself again. So there'll be some moves. I'll move some videos back from the other channel and probably shut it down or just keep it open for, I don't know, channel two, just whatever, right? But this is my channel. It's about me. I'm going to share me. and I do not. And I shouldn't care what other people think about how I want to run my space and how I want to run my life. So, because, you know, being a content creator, you are affected by numbers. I'm affected by it. No, I won't lie. Uh, seen the sub drop a lot <laughs> over the last few months. Has been kind of discouraging, but I've gotten used to it now. Just like, eh, they were just people that came in for gaming. And then when they saw this, some people don't agree with it and then just left. Unfortunately, but that's reality. But Yeah. I didn't know what I wanted to talk about in this video, but it was just, I've been thinking about this a lot. And I feel like I don't want to feel guilty for not posting anymore and making content. It's just rushed. It's just like slop. It's just, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore, right? I want to make actual things that people will find useful. And I feel like some of the experiences that I go through, I think it could be helpful to someone else just to hear. Um, at least that's the consensus I see from people that uh, they're just, they're getting like secondhand euphoria just from seeing me exist or encouragement that I can do this and they can do this, right? I want to share that feeling with people too, because it is a tough world out there. Uh, especially these days, uh, being a transgender person, you are definitely not treated very nicely or respected in all kinds of spaces right now. And uh, if you have any transgender friends, please let them know that they're appreciated. You, uh, like their time, you like their you like them, right? You like having them. You like, you appreciate them because it's definitely uh, lacking, so to speak, out there right now. Uh, yeah. So, two years on HRT and it's just me rambling again. I don't know. But yeah, this, I feel like I need to tell you guys, I hate having to like share that my, the inside of my head where it's just thinking about like YouTube, 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 YouTube. But I think this is, I need to get it out and just establish right now to people in words that I quit Genshin content. I can't make Genshin videos for YouTube anymore. It's just not worth my time, my stress, my mental. I need to do something else. There are 
maybe two things left Hoyaverse related. One is the vlog from when I went to Shanghai. And the second one is a cover song that I still haven't worked on yet, but we have the lines for it. I just need to sing it. I just need to get mixed, but I just haven't gone around to it. I'll just let you guys know now. Maybe you guys will pressure me into getting that silly song out there. <laughs> and the vlog, right? The vlog, I took videos of everything when we were in Shanghai. It was really fun. And we went to Hoyo HQ and everything. I want to show everyone that we're allowed to. And yeah, so I think Rin Tight Show is going to go back to being Rin Tight Show. There might be a name change coming up pretty soon here to the channel as a whole, right? From Rin Senpai to Rin Taicho. It's supposed to be Rin Sensei, but that's a problem right now. I might do something else. You guys post it. And the other cool thing I plan to do, I plan to change my actual birth certificate, my license, and my password to saying female. I am planning to do that just after my last trip of the year. Speaking of which, I'm going to YumeCon out in San Jose, I believe. YumeCon, I'll leave a link in the comments. Uh, if you want to come to that convention and I'll be there. We can talk. We can hang out. You can ask me questions. You can yell at me and call me gross and loser if you want to. But I'll be there in San Jose during that time. Leave a link button down below. You can come check it out. And... Uh, yeah, I'm still streaming though. I do definitely love to stream on Twitch. I still do. I really, really, really do. So I would appreciate it if you come hang out. Uh, it's usually 5 p.m. Pacific to 9, 8, 9 p.m. Pacific. And I usually stream three days a week right now. Still have my full time job, so I can't really do too much. But I try to stream when I can. And I'm trying to vary it up a little bit. Genshin is still very much like something I'm very interested in doing. Uh, but I try to... You know, push some other games every once in a while. Like uh, we started doing, uh, what was it? Uh, Tavern Simulator, which is a fun one. Uh, we played the Love Live game, the Yohane Parhelion, the card game one. Uh, Numazu and the Mirage or something like that. And hopefully more will come along pretty soon. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Lethal Company too, actually. Like way too much. So, ah, but yeah, I just wanted to establish out there that I'm going to move on from Genshin content. No more. I'm just going to bring the channel back to being itself. So expect to see some old videos pop back up on here from the other channel. And I don't know what happened to that channel, but we're going to make this channel back to what it used to be back in the day. Just me rambling, as I usually do. Until I find like another video game that I run with that. But who knows? I'm getting old now. I don't really want to play more games. I have my one game. Genshin, Mahjong Soul, Zenless, Star Rail, ugh. Like, the weird thing about Star Rail is that currently I try, my look isn't like very Kafka inspired, but I don't play Star Rail at all. Like, well, I do, but just the story. I barely do anything else. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end here, uh, please, please be nice in the comments. I know some of you aren't happy with me, but sorry, I guess. I hope we can resolve our differences or we can part ways here <laughs> anyway uh yeah i'll get back to work and hopefully in another year on hrt um maybe i can start using a higher voice if i want to but it's still very tiring to do so i'll try my best for that time when we get there anyway thank you for watching i'm rin and i'll see you guys later good night